In this video, we're going to take a look at updating and upgrading through command line apt versus command line apt get. So keep in mind that apt is actually a front end for apt get. You should, for the most part, you should be using apt. It's more user friendly. It's got a little bit easier syntax. App get, however, is more powerful. So we're going to start off by looking at apt. All right here's apt. We're going to look at update. Let's use the download package information. The, the apt update versus app get update is pretty much the same thing. So we're going to see both of those in action. You can do a sudo apt update that says I have 108 packages that can be upgraded and then we're going to do an app get it has done the same thing except you'll notice that app get does not tell me how many packages can be upgraded next we're going to look at upgrade this is apt upgrade it says it's used to install available upgrades of all packages currently installed on the system from the sources configured via sources.list new packages will be installed if required to satisfy dependencies but existing packages will never be removed if an upgrade or a package requires removal of an installed package, the upgrade for this package is not performed. That's apt. Now let's look at app get. Upgrade, app get upgrade, is used to install the newest versions of all packages currently installed on the system from the sources in your sources.list. Packages currently installed with new versions available are retrieved and upgraded and under no circumstances are currently installed packages removed or packages not already installed retrieved and installed. New versions of currently installed packages that cannot be upgraded without changing the install status of another package will be left at the current version. Now let's see this in action. I'm going to sudo apt upgrade and you'll notice the following new packages are going to be installed right here. And then these packages are going to be upgraded. There's going to be a 108 upgraded and 35 newly installed with sudo apt upgrade. So let's take a look at sudo apt get upgrade. The following packages have been kept back. This package has been kept back. So evidently all of all of these new packages right here are because of this package right here. And it's being kept back because sudo apt-get upgrade will not install or remove any packages that is needed. So now it says 107, 107 upgraded, none, th zero newly installed, zero removed, one not upgraded. <clears throat> okay, we've looked at that. Now let's look at full upgrade. Apt full upgrade. Full upgrade performs a function of an upgrade, but will remove currently installed packages if this is needed. And the app get similar function is dist upgrade. Full upgrade, dist upgrade are very similar. Dist upgrade, in addition to performing the function of upgrade, also intelligently handles changing dependencies with new versions of packages. App get has a smart conflict res resolution system and it will attempt to upgrade the most important packages at the expense of less important ones. So this one will actually remove some packages it will install packages. So let's have a look at that and see what happens. So I'll do apt first, sudo apt full upgrade. And what we get is actually the same as a sudo apt upgrade. Sudo apt upgrade will not remove packages, but it will install new packages. 
and this is going to ins also install new packages so we actually have the same function in this case 108 upgraded 35 to be installed exactly the same as the sudo apt upgrade sudo apt get dist upgrade now this is where apt get will actually install new packages 108 upgraded 35 newly installed the sudo apt get upgrade would leave one package behind and it would only upgrade 107 upgraded so there's your difference as a new user if you're a new user to an ubuntu branch i recommend by all means to use sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade you can also do sudo apt full upgrade if something's being held back for some reason this is the way i do it every time that i upgrade it in ubuntu distribution i do sudo apt update and then sudo apt full upgrade dash y because i'm living dangerously that's why dash y only means that everything is automatically answered yes you'll notice that apt also gives you a progress bar by default and that's another thing i really like about it you can do a progress bar in app get and i'll show that command to you we're in the app get man pages under options you can do ver verbose and i'm pretty sure there's pack there's a progress i think it's way down here yeah right there show progress so sudo apt get upgrade or dist upgrade space hyphen hyphen show hyphen progress that will show you something similar to what you see here and that is it for this video thank you so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe mm -hmm.